25 summers. Like the content, subscribe to the page. Do you know of any situations in prison where people from different gangs or different races um, got together for a cause, whether it's a negative one or a positive one, like drugs, money, or oppression from the officers? Do you know of any incidents of that? Yeah, it's a few. It's, it's a few. It's only a few incidents I really know of, man. They come together. It was always negative, though, man, when they came together for, like, a cause or something. It was always about some destruction of the next prisoner or something like that. It's very rarely do they come together for a cause, man, to bring about the greater the good or the greater of the situation in the penitentiary. So, you know, like, you know, individuals like myself, I freaking with a little bit of everybody. You know, whichever, wherever, wherever my um, come up was coming from, man, you know, whether it was with Muslims, 5%, whether it was with Bloods or whoever, you know, Kings or whatever, man, wherever my benefit was, that's where I was at. So speaking of Bloods, I know you have a strong opinion on the New York prison Bloods and you feel they're soft. We spoke about it once before. You know, we had an audio issue with it. So I would like you to elaborate on why you think the New York prison bloods gang are soft. Yeah, uh, well, what I think and what is a fact are two different things. I'm going to tell you the fact of it, why I think that they're soft. The fact is because they do a lot of things, man, that this, this contribute to the destruction and the, and the worsening of the, of the correction facility. They created new positions and jobs for the correction officers, man. That's something that we don't stand against, man. They are uh, coming off the back without even giving themselves a chance to be a man and join these gangs. And once you join these gangs, man, they start to do all types of little sucky coward things, man. A lot of them are hiding. A lot of them get down with this to cover up a lot of foul stuff that they do. A lot of them mess with mooks. A lot of them are mooks themselves. They red dragons, but they come in disguise. If you don't know about who they are until you catch them doing something that's low and despicable like this, they know what I mean by when I be red dragon. That's this mook, this mook behavior and messing with boys and all of that. And then when they do that, it's not something that you can go and tell a leader. You go tell a leader this stuff, he's going to be like, oh, you're just hating on one of my homies and all of that. You don't have no proof for that. But there's plenty of proof, man, that these guys are doing this, but they never believe. So me, like, I take the matters into my own hand, man. They did something in violation, man. I'm Xing them out on my own. I'm not even waiting for them, man. That's a lot of coward moves. That's a lot of things that they do. There's a lot of cutting people, man, being told what to do. Like, you don't have a mind of your own. A person like that is absolutely no good. He's not even a soldier. He's not even a good soldier because a good soldier, man, knows what he's doing for the greater the good. Knows what he's in because he's part of a uh, 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 organization, man, where this is what we do. This is what we stand for, man. Second of all, man, these dudes is calling themselves five-star generals, man. These dudes is calling themselves OGs, man. These dudes ain't killed nobody, man. These dudes, man, I'm in contact with a brother Big Git now from, from Pasadena, California, man. This dude is original bounty hunter, man. This brother told me, man, to stay clear of these clowns up here, man, because once they seen on site, they who that. There's very few of these homies over here that's ever made the trip to the motherland, man, to get sanctioned, man, to get certified who you are and what you represent, man. They over here hiding in New York, making a mockery of these brothers. And these brothers is living this for real. These brothers been breeding this. It's from generation to generation. And these brothers over here in New York that made a mockery out of that, man. The brother told me straight up, man, he ain't never cut nobody with a razor. They ain't, this is not what they do, man. Then the brother told me, man, these brothers calling themselves OGs. They not no OGs, man. An OG is somebody to kill somebody, man, for his hood, man. Put his flag in his mouth, and then they get the teardrop. These dudes going up north, and they dig in their cell, and they getting their homies to paint teardrops and tattoo on their face and all of that like they OG, man. They making a mockery of this thing, man. This is why I dislike them, man. You mocking them. New York used to be a place where you could say people follow us throughout the world, man. 
We following dudes and we ain't even following them right, man. They made a mockery out these dudes and these dudes want to kill these dudes on sight. You think I'm going to join something, man, that these brothers is public enemy number one, man, over the world? Absolutely not, man. This is, it's like the brother told me straight up and down, man. He's just like, listen, man, you know, I heard about you all right, man. I read the article with you on the Source magazine, everything. Stay clear of these dudes, man. Try not to join these dudes, man, because these dudes is going to have a problem, man. Half of those dudes in there don't know nothing about this banging thing. Half of them don't know nothing about the history of T. Rogers. They don't know nothing about Bobby Lavender. They got down with this as a, as a sign of, of looking for strength, not being a man, and hiding behind the fact of who they really are, man. As you mook, you mook, man. Then stay in your position. Play your play, play your position. Don't come in, join the grant, join the gang with 150, 200 people in there, and now you mingling with them, man. Half of them is real, half of them is fake. They don't know who is they intermingling. Now you got a melting pot, a cess pot, which is a big mess, man. I have absolutely no respect for them. The ones that I do respect. You stand on your own, man. You judge as a man. You judge as the merit of a man, man. You're not being told what to do by somebody else who wouldn't do it, man. He calling himself an OG. OG and what? OG is original gangster, man. Original gangster stuff derived from California, man. This is gang lingo, man. These dudes is making mockeries of it. They didn't kill nobody. Half of them is in for petty crimes, man. And then somehow they inherit a spot. You know, a GF is not something we do. That's a godfather. That's Italian stuff. For a five-star general is a United States military, man. So who is they following? You know what I'm saying? I, I got it mixed up. I don't know who they following. So is that's why you consider them soft? Yeah, because there is no backbone, man. It's no backbone. Is is nothing that but, you can... But it, but it appears that way that it is backbones when you hear about... New York City jails, which would be Rikers Island. When you hear about upstate New York, you're always hearing bloods, 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 bloods. But you're saying something totally different. So yeah, what you're hearing is is bloods, bloods, bloods. But you don't really know the real deal about. Okay, they started inside the penitentiary. This was '93. Since '93, they created new job titles, new jobs for these officers, correction officers. It was just regular guards, and now they gang intelligent. Now they're dealing with the gang and trying to decipher these lessons and these math that these clowns is giving them. So now they got new positions. They got money. There's long money now. More positions, more money by way of them, by the mess up of them, by the corruption of them, by the black on black crime with them. These dudes started out as a cause that could have been a beautiful thing, flipped it in less than one year and start banging on each other. These California dudes ain't doing all of that, man. They're not doing it. They're not running around painting teardrops on they, on the sides of their eyes, man, for no apparent reason, man. Those teardrops is representing, man, the struggle and the hardship that they had to hold down the hood, man, and all that. These dudes ain't been through no real pressure. You come in a penitentiary, you got 200 dudes screaming red, red, red. So now they don't know who you are. All you're seeing is that you're one of them. Now you hiding, you snitching, you telling on people, you messing with boys, you've been a mook since day one, and now you come in here, and now everybody thinking that you somebody new. You go on a visit, you get you a little of the bag, you know, weed, whatever the case is, now you get you your own hood. Just listen to a lot of these dudes, man. Listen to these brothers, man. This kicking it, man, about these fake clown dudes, man. And decipher, man, what's real or not. There ain't nothing good about that movement, man. Because if it was something good about that movement, they'd be doing something right now to uplift the movement of them. They'd be doing positive things. They'd be doing something for the kids. Start a free lunch program. If you're going to emulate somebody, emulate the Panthers. Emulate what they did. They start a free lunch program. The whiteys didn't want to get after us. The Panthers gave that to us. Tell me one thing that they're doing that's contributing to the benefit and the well-being of our youth for today and tomorrow's life, man. Absolutely nothing, man. Okay, so what's the difference between the blood gangs and other gangs being that you did the 25 summers without joining any gang, which is honorable within itself in prison so what's the what would be the difference between them and other gangs are other gangs acceptable to you or just the blood you have a problem with 
which uh -huh. no, uh, um, a little bit of all facets of these gangs, man, have all the same elements, the same coward tendencies, man, the same snitching, the same messing with boys. It's with the Muslims. They're doing the same thing. It's with the Latin Kings. They're doing the same thing. So, you know, in all facets and all walks and segments of all of these organizations, it is a bunch of bad apples in it and it has a tendency to spoil the whole bunch. There's a few good dudes in every facet of this, what I'm talking about. But it's so many of the fake ones that it's hard to see the real ones. This is why the movement went south real quick. You know what I'm saying? Why it was on the right path and every, it went south because it's too many fake dudes. Their screening process was like unbelievable, man. All you had to do was know somebody, man, and then you could come home and all of this stuff. They got coward dudes, man, with, with big homie spots, man. They calling themselves big homies. They calling themselves OGs. They never killed nobody. Just check them out. Check out their rap sheets. See what they in. How many people you kill for the cause? You know, these brothers in California, man, is living this for day in and day out, man. They breathing this, man. They've been inherited to their grandparents and all of that. So when they say they got this teardrop on them, man, believe me, there's a story behind that. Not just somebody painted a teardrop on you to try to enhance your popularity in the prison system, man. This is not no popularity contest. This is a way of life. And if you play with it, man, you will be handled. And a lot of these dudes is on the menu, and they know that. So now they don't went from generation to generation to generation with this thing here, man. And all it's doing, man, is preaching and giving the wrong message, man. The, the message I'm telling you is, man, give yourself a chance, man. If you fall on short and catch a big, catch a headache and go up top for whatever you do, man, that's bad, man. You got caught, man. But it's a lesson to be learned in all of this. It can also be school, man. But don't join no gangs or cliques or none of that. Give yourself a chance. Be a man. You'll make it that way. You know what I'm saying? So in your opinion, in the New York State prison system, what is the softest gang, in your opinion, or the least thorough gang in the prison system? I, hey man, I, I, I shun down on all gangs, period, man, because they sent out the wrong message. But if I had to pinpoint them and put my finger on one, man, you know, the Crip Brothers, man, was so few of them and they were so outnumbered, man, but they stood strong as they could stand, man. They get my most respect, man, before I give it to any one of these other ones, man. The Latin Kings came in racist off the top. Moving on, black brothers, man, just because, man, they was under the guidance and the leader of a racist dude that came from Chicago. So they was falsely taught. They was misled. They was giving up false information. The Nietas was the same way. The Nietas embraced Mooks because Mooks got down with the revolution in the Puerto Rican jails. They helped fight and they died for the fact for the inmate could control the jail. So now they have a soft spot for Mooks. I don't. You know, that's not what we do. So in all facets of these, man, they, they have a tendency, man, to be foul. And I look down on all of them, man. But if I had to pinpoint on all of them, man, it's, it's, it's the blood gang, man, because it's the younger ones that's getting into that and being misled into things that's just completely turning their whole life inside out. They might have came in there with a two to six for some real nonsense, man. By the time it's all said and done with, under the guidance of these fools, they end up with 10, 15 years in the penitentiary and they thinking, yeah, they banging for the cause. That ain't cause. That's because somebody happened to have the authority to tell 100 people what to do because he was being told what to do for so long. When he rose in power, he started telling the younger ones what to do, man. And the blind can't lead the blind, man. And this is what happened, man. So it had to be them. The most naive gullibles is the young ones. It has to be that organization.